In this video tutorial, we're going to walk through setting up your Xbox to stream to Lightstream, where you can add overlays, alerts, and simulcasts up to five platforms, do multiplayer streams, and so much more. Let's get into this video. Lightstream is a cloud-based streaming service that captures the stream from your console that's going to Twitch and re-encodes it with your customizations using our platform. Lightstream is free to use, but there's also a premium version that unlocks several features for you, as well as including 1080p streaming and removing the Lightstream branding from your stream. To get started, we're gonna go ahead and customize the interface and we're gonna sign in using our information and it's going to ask us to choose a camera as well as a microphone. Don't worry if you just wanna stream directly from your console Console. You won't have to have this connected each time, but for setup, it's going to ask you to do this each time to get inside to be able to make these changes. Once you're signed in, we're going to go ahead and choose settings and make sure game mode is toggled on. Once this is toggled on, now we can actually receive the game source from our console and be able to make these customizations and re-encode it with all of what we're wanting to use. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on stage just so that you can see me as we walk through the rest of this tutorial. Just to show you a couple of customizations under the design panel, you can actually change the primary color of a lot of the things that you're going to see on screen, such as the participant names. If you actually have a name or want to do any of the multiplayer stuff, when we actually do that later in the stream, you'll see that my name is up there. We can change that color to kind of whatever you want and do a bunch of other customizations like choosing different styles, etc. You will also have the Lightstream actual logo right here, the branding. This can be removed if you are a premium subscriber, or you can move it around and even upload your own logo if you'd like. So let's go ahead and add some alerts and overlays. On the right side of the screen, you can see the produce panel. And under here, we have a bunch of video stuff that we'll come back to in just a moment. But then we see Twitch alerts as well as overlays. Now let's go ahead and start with overlays and then go back up to the integrated Twitch alerts that we have through Lightstream. For the overlays, we can actually use use XPN overlays for free subscribers. And if you're a premium subscriber, you can actually use any third party overlay as long as it's set to 1080p. You can also add images if you want to use an image as an overlay. All you have to do is simply add plus URL and then just go ahead and paste that URL link. If it's from XPN, which is one I've already preloaded here, you would give it a name, paste the URL and then just click save. Once again, I just want to stress, make sure that these overlays are set to 1080p. To activate the overlay, once you've added it, all you have to do is simply click it and it will pop up on screen. And as you can see right here, I actually have an event list from XPN as well as my follower list on the right. We also have the integrated Twitch alerts for our platform, which you don't have to actually install anything. They are just here. All you have to do is toggle them on and then you can actually preview them by clicking the eyeball beside them. And you'll see that they'll pop up either in the bottom middle or you can choose the top middle and move them to the top again or the bottom of the screen. And they actually cover cheers, raids, subscribes, resubscribes, as well as gifts. And and you can go ahead and preview those to see what they would look like on screen. Covering what's above this, you actually see videos and you can see that you've got starting soon screens, you've got actually ending screens as well as be right back screens. But the cool thing about this is you can actually favorite things and put them on the hot bar across the bottom and trigger them using shift one through four. So for example, this first one right here is actually the be right back screen. I'm gonna hit shift one and it will actually pop up in that screen. And this is what your viewers would be able to see. You can hit it again for it to come actually pull it down. And then shift three is actually the XPN overlay we just uploaded for us to actually see. You can see I can trigger it on and off that easy. To add a favorite, it's really easy. Just go to the bottom of the element and just click the star on that element and we'll add it across the bottom of the bar. And you can just drag and move these around however you would like to make this easy for you. And now most of the time you're going to have the game source full screen. Even if you go live from your console and you don't want to connect to camera, you don't want to sign into Lightstream Studio, you can totally just do that and we can just leave leave the game source up and this is what it could be. You could just go live from your console and just have your overlays go out. You don't have to have signed in or have this up somewhere. You can set this up one time and leave it or you could have a more produced stream and connect these things like more cameras. You can even add multiple cameras from your end, adding guests and invite guests, which we'll talk about in just a minute to make a more well-produced stream. Now, the next step is to actually connect your platforms and you can do that under settings and you can see add destinations. What you can see is I've actually already added to my Twitch as well as my YouTube channel, but you can add anything that you see here or you can do actually custom RTMP destinations and put in the URL stream key and go ahead and name this to go ahead and be able to send the stream out to that destination. For Twitch, YouTube, and some other platforms, you can actually click onto them and change the 
titles that you're wanting that stream to be once it goes live before you go live as well as add a description here for YouTube. You can also have them pre-added and turn them on or off if you don't want to stream to every platform at that time. For resolution, you're gonna be using what your plan uses. For example, your free plans will go up to 720p, but your premium plans will be able to go up to 1080p. You also can monitor all of your live stream chat here from platform chat as well as chat privately with your guests in the live stream platform. Now I wanna preface this, all of this is customization that you can do if you have like a computer beside you or your phone, being able to make these adjustments live while you're actually streaming, or you can just set up your overlay and then go live and it will always be there every time you start streaming. So to be able to do that and make this really simple, all you need to do is actually put your game source online. You can actually pull off the video feed from your camera or the microphone and you would just go live from your Xbox to Lightstream. Speaking of that, let me show you how to go live from your Xbox directly to Lightstream. Step one of going live from your Xbox is to actually open the game you want to go live playing. For example, I wanna go live playing Hot Wheels Unleashed. The next step after getting into the game is to actually go into your menu and go over to the capture and share menu. Under the live stream setting, we're gonna be able to adjust these settings to be able to go and stream out to Lightstream. So right here, we can actually change our stream name. And then down below that, under more options, we'll be able to choose our resolution and bitrate. For resolution and bitrate, choose the correct resolution based upon the plan that you have. Free users should choose 720p, Premium users can choose up to 1080p and make sure you use the bitrate that makes sense for your internet connection. Under destination at the bottom of the screen, it will most likely say Twitch, but in this panel, you can actually choose Lightstream. And this will actually send it directly to our platform to re-encode your stream with all the customizations you've already done. The next step is to hit go live now. And here we are, we are currently live on Twitch and you can see right here, we have our overlay going. Let's go over to twitch.tv and see what this looks like from their perspective. So here's my channel and I'm live and you can currently see that I actually have the followers right here as well as the event list popping up. All of the other stuff is there, no capture card needed. I'm just streaming directly to Lightstream from my Xbox. Now I can go ahead and add my camera onto the screen if I would like. And if I go back over to Twitch, you will also see it pop up and all of those adjustments can be made real time. Let's say I wanna go ahead and invite a guest onto the stream to be able to have a conversation and be a part of the stream at the same time as a multiplayer stream. I can actually go up here to invite guests and it will copy a link that I can then send to them and they join into a platform very similar to this, choose a microphone and a camera and their picture will pop up below this. So what you can see is actually my camera right here just below and if I activate that, it will pop up another piece on the screen and we can go ahead and go to another piece. We can go to cover and you can see all of the video angles. Not only do you have the gameplay up here, but then you have my main camera as well as this would be my considered my guest and we can do full customization we can move them around we can even add backgrounds behind us if we want to do even more customization to have kind of a very unique streaming experience and this can be all done from your phone and set up and sent out it's really cool love this multiplayer stream aspect and you can see that I've actually ended my stream. It's actually pulled the game source offline as well as ended the stream for Twitch saying it is now offline. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and please make sure you go follow us over on Twitter or X as well as join our Discord to be able to be up to date with any releases and updates that we do for Lightstream Studio. Thank you so much for watching and y'all have a great day.